Misogyny. It's a word we all know. In fact, misogyny is the hatred of, contempt for, or prejudice against women. Misandry is literally the same thing, but you replace women with men. Now it stands to reason that if you were going to make misogyny a hate crime, you would also make misandry a hate crime. Because, let's not forget guys, diversity is our strength, it's all about inclusion, and the most important thing is society is all about equality. Modern society is all about equality, that is. But oh no, there is a, there is a mass group of people out there that seem to be hell-bent and going into a, into a world of hysteria over the mere suggestion of making misandry a hate crime. And that, quite frankly, does all the talking you need to know. But they do the talking themselves. I don't need to sit here and make a video because they've done the talking for themselves. The mere fact that they are hell-bent against the idea of misandry becoming a hate crime, but all in favour of misogyny becoming a hate crime, tells you all you need to know about the people that not only are, for a lot of it, running our fucking country, but also the ones writing continuous art articles, so-called journalists, and of course their little protesters that do nothing but rant and rave all day long. Now, I am one of these guys, one of these people, that I just, I don't particularly like the idea of hate crimes as they currently stand anyway, because as a, a hate crime, as I knew it, the definition has well and truly been changed, but the name hasn't, funnily enough. That's what makes it sound a lot worse than it actually is. That being said, the fact that the, a lot of these so-called feminists and progressives are so hell-bent on trying to make sure that misandry has no place in their potential revamp to hate crime laws tells you all you fucking need to know. Why misandry misogyny should be treated differently when it comes to hate crimes, this one's a belter. The fact that we're considering making misandry a hate crime should concern everyone who believes in equality and this right here is where the penny should drop to anybody that's on the fence in regards to anything that's going on in the world and just anybody, just your average Joe or Josephina if you want to be politically correct. You know, look at this. Equality. So we should stand to reason that misandry, I'm so if you're going to make misogyny a hate crime, misandry should be too. But the point is here that they believe these so these secret socialists are more often than not open commies believe that society is built on the basis of structures with white men, straight white men being at the top and we're oppressing every fucking so-called category under the sun. So we need to topple this patriarchy in order to receive full equality for all. And that, that's, that's the basis of their whole ideology. It, it completely devalues and has redefined what, it, what equality would stand for under fucking definitions, <laughs> at the very least. Oh, it's a concern. We should all be concerned. No, the only... <laughs> it's, it's just unreal. So let's get a quick look at this. Among those calling for misandry to be considered a hate crime, is the organization Fathers for Justice. The group argues that to call that calls to make misogyny a hate crime risks stereotyping men as perpetrators and women as victims and state that abuse has no gender, which it doesn't. The problem with this analysis is it simply does not match the facts. Oh, they're going to refer to some facts. That's a first. Of course some men are victims and survivors of gender-based violence, and those men absolutely deserve support and justice. But when you crunch the numbers, it's impossible to ignore the violence and abuse is gendered. Oh, this will be good. The majority of perpetrators of violent crime against both men and women are male. According to the Office for National Statistics Crime Survey for England and Wales in year ending March 2017, 78% of perpetrators of violent crime are men. For domestic abuse, 89% of those experiencing more than four incidents are women, and the vast majority of perpetrators are men. When it comes to sexual offences, the majority of victims are women and perpetrators men. So to say that abuse has no gender, as those calling to make misandry a hate crime do, is inaccurate. Hate crimes, which can include verbal, physical, <laughs> verbal abuse is a hate crime. See what I mean? What the fuck? Anyway, uh, aggravated offences. This means they attract longer prison sentences than offences not motivated by hate. And this is a reflection of how those crimes spread fear among the group to which the victim belongs to. How can you prove that? This is my bugbear with a lot of these calls to make all these new, like, transphobia and homophobia and misogyny hate crimes. Like, how can you prove that the, the events that happen to you or the abuse that you receive or the violence that you become the victim of or whatever it may be are truly motivated by hate? 
towards you for whatever reason. Okay, granted, like, LGBT or homophobic violence and all the rest of it, if it's somebody batters somebody and, and does so and openly states that they're doing it because they are homosexual, then that's different. But you can't just because you're a homosexual and you happen to get assaulted proclaim homophobia. And the same goes for women. This is where the, the, the goalposts have been shifted because quite a lot of the time now you hear constantly, you know, you know people receive so-called harassment or abuse or whatever it is and then they immediately jump the gun and assume that whatever happened to them happened to them solely because of this category that they've been placed in and that's the problem here the goalposts have been shifted everything has been redefined and this is a fucking dangerous slippery slope anyhow this is where this article falls flat on its face as far as i'm concerned anyway Try a simple experiment. If you're a man, ask the women in your life what steps, if any, they take to make sure they are safe walking at night. They range from holding keys to not getting drunk and taking alternative routes home. These rules and suggestions are drilled in us from childhood, from even before we get harassed in the street in our school uniforms. When a woman is violently attacked in our neighbourhood, warnings appear telling us to get taxis, not to walk home in the dark, not to listen to music on the street. Girls are brought up with endless warnings to keep ourselves safe from male violence and learn early on to restrict our freedoms to do so, even at the risk of our own physical health. What the fuck, right? But this is... this. Now ask a man what he does to keep safe. Even though men are more likely to be attacked by a male stranger on the streets, those attacks aren't motivated by misandry. So, even though men are more likely to be attacked by, oh, in brackets, I love that, by a male on the street, it's not motivated by misandry. You can't prove that it wasn't motivated by misandry. You've just assumed, but you're so crystal clear without any proof whatsoever that whatever happens to a woman on the street, even though men are more likely to be attacked, it has to be because of misogyny. Oh dear, this is where the, the fucking penny drops as far as I'm concerned. You do not know for a fact that anything that happens to you in your life happens to you because of misogyny. I know, quite frankly, that yes, there is a higher rate of a woman being raped on the street or whatever on her way home and what have you, but men are more likely to be jumped, assaulted or what, whatever. There is bad people out there and there's good people out there. But for you to just sit there and say that, oh yeah, you know, there's men are more likely to be attacked, but it's nothing to do with misandry. But anything bad that happens to a woman it has to be because of misogyny. And that's the problem here. You can't, first of all, you can't prove whether anything that happened to you happened to you solely because of misogyny, hatred towards you because you are a woman. Bad things happen to you, granted, but you can't prove that it happened to you due to misogyny. And let's, I love how they're, they're ref, they refer to the most outlandish and extreme uh, examples as to try to justify why misogyny should become a hate crime. But let's not beat around the bush here. Misogyny, as we all know, has seen a well, has, has well and truly been redefined in recent times, ranging from shit like approaching girls in nightclubs, wolf whistling is now sexual harassment, and yeah, the list goes on. They don't lead to curfews against men, a societal-wide restriction on men's freedoms or violence enforced gender violently enforced gender equal inequality. I mean, it stands to reason for everyone to be take care at night. Nighttime is a is a lot more dangerous than during the day. That stands to reason no matter where you live, unless you live in some gated community full of, ironically enough, lefty politicians for the most part. Anyhow, the point remains the same. You've openly stated that men are more likely to be attacked on the street. And I know multiple, I, I, I love how modern day feminists are saying, I know most of my friends have been raped. I mean, that's just not true. You, I mean, you might know one or two people that have been raped, but the chances of everyone you know, or a good portion of everyone you know being raped, really, the question needs to be asked as to how do you define rape? You know, I know a few boys that have been jumped, myself included, twice, two different occasions when I was younger. I don't fucking stand there and go, oh, no, it's because of misandry. But the problem here is you, or anyone like you, will say, or believe now anyway, that whatever happened to you happened to you due to misogyny. And you have no proof of that. Misogyny succeeds in repressing women's freedoms in all sorts of blatant and insidious ways. We shall have to see whether the Law Commission agrees and whether it feels the same can be said about misandry. 
Wow. It seems that there's nothing women can have, not even their status as a marginalised sex class. Now, I mean, come on, see what I'm saying here? Women are not marginalised in this day and age. It's just completely ridiculous. These people, they, they really do seem to be stuck in the past for a multitude of different reasons, but one being that they take women of old, women from back in the day that had no fucking rights, and then they use that plight that these women had to justify their nonsensical crap that they spew out current, in the current day. Women are not marginalised, unless you happen to be a Muslim woman in Saudi Arabia, or, <laughs> or something like that. They're not marginalised here. It's a fucking joke. <laughs> Wow. Feminists have argued that the degree to which misogyny underpins crimes committed against women means this has to change. However, it's since emerged that the Commission will also be reviewing whether misandry deserves to be included in new definitions. New definitions, what I mean. Wow. According to Home Office Minister Baroness Williams, this is the, in response to what the public and other organisations are telling us. As a feminist, I confess that I am not happy about this. I am also well aware of in which, in the way in which such unhappiness will be perceived by many. Typical feminist, right? I see I want equality, but I actually want special treatment. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. I see I think women are strong, but actually want them to be weak. I say feminism isn't about hating men, but it actually is, well, you know. I am familiar with all these arguments and the way in which they are used time and time again to recast women's demands for recognition of their unequal status as for, oh my, see what I mean? Oh, Jesus Christ, you're not, you're not marginalised, you're not oppressed, what the fuck is this? It seems there's nothing women can have, not even their status as a marginalised sex class that women well, will not ex well, that men will not expect them to share. The argument that misogyny has its counterpart in misandry and that only a misandrist would deny it is superficially attractive. There's a satisfying symmetry to it, not to mention a degree of truth. Everyone is potentially as much as a victim of, as an oppressor. Oh, the words are creeping out here. Attempts to make misandry the equivalent of misogyny rely on two misconceptions. First, that gender is a spectrum. <laughs> As opposed to hierarchy. What? <laughs> and second, the victimhood is in fact a source of power and privilege. What the fuck? It is true that men and boys are harmed by the insistence that all male people by ma wait and by the ins insistence that all male people be masculine. True too that it hurts for all members of group to be judged by the actions of violent minority. Nevertheless, these are the conditions upon which the perp. Perpetuation of male supremacy relies. <laughs> I mean, the mere suggestion of misandry becoming a hate crime alongside misogyny has these people quaking in their boots. Not just because of the hatred of men that a lot of them reek off, more so because they believe in this crap about hierarchies and the supposed patriarchal structured society that we live in with white straight men being at the top and quite frankly they're they're fucking misconstrued retarded for lack of better words uh, part of my french i suppose that's a hate crime now i'm racist too because i said french not but their blatant obsession with restructuring society is coming out here in full force with their absolute outrage at the mere suggestion of making misandry a hate crime alongside misogyny. Quite frankly, misogyny should not be a hate crime because, as I've said before in multiple videos, the definitions have shifted. But it just seems that they seem to be desperate to see misandry not a hate crime, but all in favour of misogyny. And that is the complete opposite of what equality is defined as. Peace.